Hi, it's Maxine K and Yoga, bringing you a love note from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. Well, Reverend Mike and I went out tonight only to discover that the event that was planned had been canceled. So we got to come home and pick up our babe in swaddling clothes. <laughs> and we have nice a nice evening now just to relax with our puppy. Isn't this a good vision for feeling peace and contentment and confidence and trust. You know, looking at this puppy uh, asleep in my arms right now is a beautiful picture and it reminds us that we can attain the same sense of serenity, not necessarily by getting wrapped in a blanket, cuddled up on a lap. Well, that sounds nice, doesn't it? But it's more important than that. It goes deeper than that. It's remembering that we are the beloved in whom God is well pleased. It's in recalling that we are always held in a divine embrace. And it's important, especially right now with so much going on in our individual worlds and in the greater world for us to remember that we are always held in a divine embrace. It's essential for us to return to that place often, continuously. We're much more able to deal with what's in front of us to do when we take this precious sacred time to allow ourselves to be cuddled by God. Now, strange as that may seem, it's very real to me. <laughs> when I meditate in the morning, it feels as though I'm taking a God bath, just letting that divine life flow through me, over me, as me. For each of us is indeed an individualized expression of the one life. So keep this in mind. Yoga is teaching us how to trust, how to let go, how to relax, and let's allow ourselves to be embraced by the divine as often as possible. That's it for today. We love you. I expect that you may hear from Reverend Mike tomorrow. We love you. See you soon.